All right, what's going on, everyone? <clears throat> uh, Wind Model 88 back at you here. I know it's been quite a few days here. I had some stuff going on. Just I wasn't able to get anything out. But I had a little downtime today. I figured I'd come out here with a little, little bit of a different, different gun here. Uh, I know a lot, some of you, you know, a lot of you don't like the high points. And, you know, I get it. You know, they're... They're big, they're ugly, they're heavy, but uh, they're cheap. It, you know, I own one high point pistol currently. Uh, you know, I own a 45. You know, the ugly duckling that was in my one video. It works. Um, I own this high point also. This is a high point carbine, and this is what we're going to talk about a little bit today. This is the, uh, of course, the 4595. Uh, 45 ACP now this thing here is um, completely it doesn't look like anything when you buy it you know I completely this was actually I, I've had this gun I think this is my besides like you know your shotguns and your 22s and stuff like that I'm pretty sure this is my oldest Um, I don't say the oldest, not the oldest in terms of age gun that I have, but this was like my first, you know, first gun that I bought, you know, that, that's, you know, Gucci it out or trick it out or whatever, you know, when you're younger and dumber and, you know, I've had this since I was in my early twenties. So right when these first came out, you know, the parts were available, you know, when I bought this, I think. Well, you can't get them for that now, but uh, when I bought this back then, I think I only paid like 160 bucks for this, and now you I think they're a hundred dollars more than that. I think they're 270 something. I think you still get them for under three. Like I said, I got this for like 100, 150, 160, 160, something like that. So I, you know, I brought it home and shot it just the way it was out of the box, and it shot good. The iron sights and uh of course me being me i have a habit of liking to tinker with stuff so uh <laughs> you know kind of making stuff my own so i got online and i was looking at aftermarket parts you know add-on parts that you can put on these high point carbines and i actually found two places there was i think i got Stuff off, a couple of things off eBay too, here and there. But the one place I found was these guys here. See them in the glare there. But uh, Downrange, uh, Downrange Products. They're out of Lenexa, Kansas. You know, like I said, they high point stuff out the ass if you want to do anything like this to your high point. Just completely customize it and do whatever to it. You know, they have, they have rails. Uh, you know, extra mags, um, you know, the mag holders, the, uh, the barrel shrouds, the uh, compensators and muzzle brakes, uh, vertical grips, you know, anything you want. So check them out if you're interested. And also, I'm sure a lot of you know about these guys, M Carbo. I can get some stuff from them too. So uh, check these guys out if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And of course, eBay. Um, now, turn this light off here. I did. Let me take you through what I did. So, I don't want to make this a huge video for a high point, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, so, what I pretty much did, I got this home, you know, after a couple weeks of shooting it, just how it is. I got online, seen what you can do. Um, different add-ons and shit. <clears throat> what I did first, obviously I stripped it. Um, and of course, to take down, uh, you take these pins. You see this knob here? There's a hole. You, you take a punch, tap it this way. Of course, this will slide here. There's one in the back here too. You do the same thing. You tap it, tap it that way. It will pop off. And you got your pin here. 
tap, take a punch or whatever, tap it this way. This little clip slides up and then you can just, of course, take your charge handle bolt off too and then everything just slides. And you gotta pop this off up front. Of course, you take your scope off and this, this flips up and everything just comes off. Yep, they're pretty simple. So we'll start from the front here. I have a lot of room here with everything. I'm gonna try to do what I can. So I can't. I'm not. I can't remember any order. You know the order of which I bought everything. So I'll just take you through. Um, the muzzle brake and the barrel shroud. Obviously, I got these both at once. Both from the same place. I got these from downrange. Uh, of course, the barrel shroud. I think that is. What is a. Yeah, that's the four, like four inch barrel shroud. And then the muzzle brake is about, you know, it's about two and a quarter. So that gives you a little over six inches there on the end. Uh, I mean, it works. I mean, the barrel shroud really, I mean, it keeps the heat down. Of course, it's about three times as thick as the normal barrel is on these, so. Gives a little bit of a tactical look if you want. Um, let me get a closer look at it here. Without knocking over my camera stand. And of course there the, the muzzle brake is just um, four set screws. So, I mean stuff's pretty simple. And of course two set screws on the uh, the front end of the barrel shroud there. Uh, moving back, you got the, uh, I think that's a six, yeah, six inch rail on the bottom. I did add that's metal. That's a metal rail. And of course the vertical grip, um, I had a black one on here. It broke the spring after a couple years. Uh, the spring broke on it and you see the spring well. It's one of the old uh, tripods. There's a button right here on the back. You know, you just hit that. And your, your bipod legs. It'll come out and you got a bipod. And with the red ball mag, I'll get to that here in a bit. With the, uh, the red ball mag, it actually, just my camera here quick. You know, if you're shooting on a flat bench or a flat surface and you're using the red ball mag, as you can see right there, it's sitting, it's sitting flat. I mean, it's kind of wobbly. It's not the most sturdy, but I mean, it'll do the job. You got your nice support back here. That's a support up here. I mean, you know, you can use that as a legit shooting uh, support. So to put it back in, you just fold them up. Push it back in and it locks. <clears throat> um, up top here, I put the uh, put the 10 inch, 10 inch full size rail. That's just plastic. The prices for a full size uh, a metal rail for these back then, and I'm sure they are now. Is just I wasn't paying it. So I got this. Uh, I got this plastic uh, 10 inch rail and i got that off of downrange too maybe m carbo i'm not sure like i said it just black so i'll put that on top this one uh this one on the bottom you can even mount something here in front if you wanted actually i did make up this little homemade this little homemade dagger <laughs> piece of wood i put a, a scope mount on there and you know you can put her you can put her right there front forward if you want you, know, you don't have a lot of stabbing length but hey man it just something else i mean so it's another piece another weapon on there if you need it so it's my little homemade dagger um now up top uh of course i just got the cheap aim the aim sports scope uh, i believe this is the four by this four by 32 just straight um Straight four power. Uh, like I said, no, no, um, 
no super magnification or nothing but like i said this is a 45 you're not going to shoot precision distances with it so i mean it works we were chucking them at because paps a couple years back when we shot this with the scope we were chucking them in there it was 75 80 yards and decent group you were holding i mean it was no precision but i mean you were hitting what you were aiming at so i can't complain and of course uh moving back i put the uh the oversized uh knurled charge handle on here it's a lot more solid you know a lot a lot more to grab hold of um now this is ambi you can mount it on this side too um it was just more better for me on the left i just for this gun it felt more comfortable on the left side so that's that's where it's at uh the trigger that's the factory trigger but inside i did buy a trigger spring kit um from m carbo for this which it took it down this this has about a uh it's about a four three and three and three quarters four pound trigger now it was about six six and a half so the trigger's fairly good on this uh, for a pistol carbine. Uh, moving back, I did put some grip tape on here. You know, front and back, grip straps up front, back, and on the sides here. And then of course the uh, the ever uh, debatable and polarizing, I would say red ball mags for these now this thing is not i don't even load this up because this this is a bipolar magazine if i've ever seen one sometimes it'll work sometimes it will not and it's just a pain in the ass it's very neat when it does work um it's very frustrating when it doesn't like i said it's a red ball mag they are made here in the u.s Twenty rounder, uh, Red Ball Sports, but it's just not reliable. I mean, target shooting, sure. You know, you'll you'll probably have to fuck with it a couple times. Sometimes you might not have to. So that's the thing with these. I don't know if it's the followers or if it's just the pressure of the spring. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but um, it just. I think maybe one time I've had 20 in a minute so ran all 20 without messing with it. So they're neat when they work, when they don't work, you know, it's, you might as well not even have it. So I don't even keep this loaded up anymore. I just keep it in there just to kind of look, look cool and scary, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's move to the back here. I, uh, of course you see on the back, without knocking my camera down, there's two. There's two mags, and uh, right here, these two green clips, one on each side, there's mag holders you can actually get, they actually bolt into, let me flip this around here, see there's the other one, they actually bolt into this piece, and they sit, so you can actually, you know, have one on each side, I think I got them from downrange. Um, so you got two extra nine rounders So you got nine nine that's 18 and you got 20 in the red ball if it works So I mean there you have 38 rounds that You can keep in here one in the chamber. So 39 so, I mean not bad um, And then of course they do come with the uh, the spring the spring uh, butt stock here You don't really need it for this very little recoil um then i think the last thing i got this uh soft cushiony cheek pad here um so it's just another just something else added to it make it look a little neat it's more comfortable you can really get it, your cheek down on there and get a nice hold on your gun um but like i said that's that's about it just want to do a little quick review on this high point uh carbine 45.95 well, yeah i might do it yet and maybe paint that vertical grip to match 
that's another thing. Obviously, I did paint this. You know, this is uh, OD green. Went to Kohl's and bought some spray paint and plastic spray paint and painted her up. And it came out nice. There's some uh, spots that are wearing from shooting it. There you see at the bottom. Like I said, all in all, it's not a bad gun. I've never had any problems with this thing. The gun itself, you know, besides besides the red ball mag, but that's about it, guys. Uh, give me one more look at her here. Say Strassel's machine, Mansfield, Ohio, high point, forty-five ninety-five. Just something, I mean, you can do this for fairly cheap, so, I mean, younger guys on here or whatever, or younger shooters want something to, you know, start out with a little bit. Something that's not going to break the bank, something that's still very fun and, from my experience, very reliable to shoot, so. That's about it, guys. Um, like I said, I know some of you aren't big High Point fans, but, from my experience, they do make, you know, they do make solid guns, so. Um, that is what it is. <laughs> I uh, I get a lot of enjoyment out of shooting this carbine anyway. I don't shoot my pistol much because, it's like I said, it's sort of a, a cabinet gun, backup gun. But uh, this high point, you know, this thing's fun. I mean, it's super reliable. If it wasn't for this red ball mag, you know, I would have no problems with the overall platform. So, I think that's enough, guys. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any of these, leave it in the comments down below or your experiences with them. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you've, maybe some of you oddballs like me have even customized your high point carbines too. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. If not, that's fine too. Uh, hope you enjoyed the content today. I should be back. Maybe this week I'll have another another video up for you, but we'll see what happens, guys. Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe, share if you want. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Win Model 88, signing off. Later on, fellas.